After much contemplation and discussion with my family, I am committed to Georgia Tech Day, and I'm feeling amazing. Why George attack? Um, Coach Dan is not my ability. I feel like having that the opportunity, the option to go play for him is kind of a no-brainer to me. Um, just everything he can teach me. Um, from playing point guard, being in the NBA, winning, rookie of the year, first round lottery pick. I mean, everything I can learn from him, it, it was kind of like a no-brainer. And then, and then, and then the rest of the that around that city of Atlanta already being here overtime, OG. So it was, it was easy. Well, not, it wasn't easy, but like once it, once it got down to it, I was up there. And then the whole day, and yesterday and the day before, I'm sitting there like, all right, everybody asked me, am I gonna be worried, nervous? And I'm like, no, no. Then when I got back there, and then they called my name, I was like, oh. So, I, so it was, it was, it was a pretty. It was a great day, actually. I got it. Awesome. And then, what was it like to have your family here? Um, and that meant everything. Um, I was I was missing missing a couple people, but but I mean to have the people I lived with in my in my house before I came down here to be here with me, my mom, my dad, my little brother. Like it meant a lot. Had, having all my OT brothers here with me, um, all my coaches, trainers. I mean, it, it meant it meant a lot to have everybody here. With me. Awesome. And then what was it like to see all the players here? Um, I actually did not know they were all going to be right here. Like, I, I had no idea. Like, I, I had a feeling some of them were going to be, like, standing in the back and stuff like that. But to have them all sitting in the front row, like, it meant a lot to me. Not, like, those those are, like, over the last few weeks, we've all built, like, a great bond together. So, I mean, it's, those, those, those are, like, going to be my brother forever. So. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay. Congratulations. It was it was really it was really really tough. Um, I had hometown Maryland. I had NC State, who I really who I really love. Florida State, who I really love. Um, everything they do over there. Um, uh, Indiana, Arkansas. So I mean, it was really tough to do. I think um, the thing I remember the most is Jaden used to sit under this little tights basket when he was, you know, could stand, right? And he started standing up and he would, I never had to put him in a playpen, he could just sit on the floor and he would shoot his little ball up into this little tights basket until finally one day he stood up and then you know, he was standing and shooting. And he has just been driven his entire life. I mean, from very small, no one's watching. Um, he just has always had a love for the game. He's a Kobe diehard. Um, mama mentality through and through, like not just a fad, he really lives it. And I, I'm gonna show you guys this picture that is of him and when he's with his trophy and his little brother's right there next door. But um, he, uh, I love every moment of this journey, and I feel very blessed to be here. Going to another one from the Point Guard University. Atlanta's waiting on you, kid. Let's go. Hey, Moose. Want to clap? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Where I see you, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the real city. Not the DMV, but it's man. better. Man, it's 100% better. DMV always gonna be home. No. <laughs> Man, today, today was like, it was just crazy because like, I never seen such a, like, well put, such a well put together group that, especially to give my brother, like, or put out my brother's commitment like that. So, I just found that really, really nice. Where are you going? Georgia Tech. For sure. You know? Chris Bosh? Yeah. Yeah, probably the most memorable moment he had, two of them, actually. Eighth grade championship, uh, he scored 32 points, but his team lost a very close game, but they were like underdogs. So that was his first moment I said, damn, 
he might can be a player. He followed up with a few uh, about four months later. He went down to Miami in the Battle of the Beach and he played against a team to play against Bronny James' team, which is like a high profile team. And he scored the first 20 points of the game. Ended up with 37. We lost in overtime, but I said, wow, he could be something. So that was that was the two moments that I thought that Jay really could be a ball player. To actually be following his footsteps, you know, that's the biggest journey for me to see the offspring of somebody that we were McDonald's All-Americans with. And this is the first time we've seen each other since we played against each other, not just in the NBA or high school, but Europe. Sure. So uh, last week was the first time that I've seen him in like 20 some years. And then to see his son take this uh, this step following his uh, dad's footsteps of playing the game, but he's also taking his own path and you know who he's becoming as a basketball player. And it's, it's just giving me goosebumps to kind of see that because you know most of us dream that our sons follow our footsteps but at the same time he's taking his own path when it comes to you know him being a guard and Gerard being a big man but it's still the same passion love for the game so that's the biggest thing is to see his son.